G'day guys, today we are taking this photo with the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Let's get into it. So here in Australia, the Milky Way season, that galactic core season, it's come back. It's starting to come back right now. We've got about half an hour to an hour window before sunrise. Uh, where that Milky Way will be rising up. And what I like to do at this time of year is drive around and look for different subjects to shoot. And what I'm going to photograph today is this bad boy here, the Steiger 500, the Case Steiger, massive earth moving machine, agricultural machine, as well as this John Deere 8320. Both of these have got dirt buckets on the back. Basically what they are, they're set up for laser grading, like leveling off paddocks so we can irrigate water. Um, this is gonna be a challenging one because these two are sitting side by side and the galactic core is rising up behind it. Interesting challenge. We'll see if we can do it. We're going to need a couple of things for this. We're going to need an iPhone. I'm using the iPhone 13 Pro Max. We're going to use Pro Raw in that iPhone. We're going to use a tripod and a phone holder. Both of these are must because they're shooting for 30 seconds. You're going to need an app called Photo Pills. Photo Pills is the app that I use to work out where that galactic core is rising. And I'll link up the top there to a video all about planning astrophotography. And in that, I'll go a little bit more into depth about how to use that app. But basically here in Australia, in the Eastern States, in the Southern Eastern States, you're going to find the galactic core rising in the East at about four o'clock in the morning. And you're also going to need, if you've got a subject, you're going to need a torch. Let's get into it. The way that I compose these photos is that because it's dark, you can't see the subject that's out there. So I'm going to use the torch, set up the camera. I'll go to a pretty bright setting on the torch. You know, I know the galactic core is rising up the back there because I've used photo pills and I've just superimposed this during the day and worked out where I need to be. Um, but for these here, for, for setting these tractors up into the frame, and you can see the challenge here, they're side by side. This is going to be quite the challenge. So I'm going to basically shine the torch onto these two tractors so that they're roughly evenly spaced across the frame. And that's it. Um, we're gonna take this photo. So all we need to do when we set this up, it's already set to compose. We're gonna to touch on the star, make sure Pro Raw is turned on, turn on night mode, go to 30 seconds. Because we're on a tripod, you're gonna sit there for a second, it's gonna sit there at 10 seconds, then give it a minute or a couple of seconds and it's gonna to change to 30 seconds. That's really important. Once we're there, we hit the shutter button and I'll then walk around and shine this torch nice and quickly on different surfaces of these tractors. It's going to be pretty mint. I'll do that, then we'll edit a photo. Now that is a bloody ripper of a photo. Well, there's a couple of things you need to consider with this. One is where in the world you are and you need to work out, photo pill is a really good tool for doing this, is work out when that core rises and when it sets and it does that differently all through the year so different times of the year it's going to do different things so photo pills are really really good tool for doing it stellarium is another good tool but i, I personally use uh, photo pills two you need to have a tripod and you need to have a phone holder it's a must there's no way around that you have to have it three is that the light pollution of where you live is definitely going to affect this so if you're close to cities close to major towns with lots of light there's less detail that you're going to find in this galactic core so with that in mind let's edit this photo the editing app that i like to use for all of my astrophotography is adobe lightroom uh, you know what it is i know what it is you can get it wherever you like uh, basically i like to do this for so many reasons the first and foremost is the new masking tool that it has. So if I go, there's the photo right there. It looks pretty bloody good. You won't disagree with that, I'm sure. If we go over to masking, hit the plus button, and then we've got select sky. If we select sky, it's going to go through and find the sky and outline and mask off all those tractors and stuff that are in that photo. And I can adjust the sky just with that. And with this photo here, we'll probably get away with just the sky being adjusted. The iPhone is notorious for adding haze to these sorts of photos. So if we go to detail, uh, sorry, go to effects and increase the dehazing and watch what happens with that core, that galactic core. How mint is that? That's just bloody awesome. Bring that down a little bit. All the edits that I do right now, I'm looking at that core because all we're doing is the sky, remember? Uh, I'm going to go to color. I'm going to add a little bit of magenta, just a little bit and add a little bit of, add the cooling or bring the uh, white balance down a little bit. And that looks pretty bloody good, I think. Over to light. We'll add a little bit of contrast, and that's it. There's nothing else I really want to do with that. Hit the tick, 
And already, that's a much better photo. If I push and hold now, and look at what the sky has done with that. That's just, that's amazing. I might look at uh, the light now, and I'll see if I can bring down the highlights. Um, when I'm doing this now, because I'm doing the whole photo, the whole photo is being adjusted right now, not just the mask that I've done. If I bring down the highlights, what I'm looking at now is the vehicles, but I'm keeping an eye on the sky. And that looks pretty good right there. Basically, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna zoom in and look at this tractor, look at the sky. There's a little bit of noise up there. So I'll get rid of some of that noise. <clears throat> Go across to detail, down to noise, noise reduction there. And I'm going to increase that a little bit. Just check out that tractor. That looks better. That's a bloody good photo. So there you have it. If you're into this sort of photos and you want to learn more about that sort of stuff that I do here, right here on this channel, make sure you subscribe. I do two videos each and every week all about phone photography generally in low light. And now that we're eating into Milky Way season, you can expect more of these sorts of photos as I show you around our wonderful country here. That's it for today, guys. I'll catch you later.